top of the Oklahoma Arkansas state line and boy it's coming together here it is it's tightening up Decatur and Gentry now's the time folks now's the time don't mess around with this one this specific supercell is really trying to get its act together that rotation is very concerning to me we've had of Benton County so here's what we know so far the Benton County judge said one person has died following these destructive storms. They moved through overnight, hitting first in Decatur. This is drone video sent to us by a viewer of the damage there. Flattened homes, businesses have had windows blown out, uh, roofs have been ripped off of buildings. Lines have been ruptured. Uh, we see down power lines all over the place. Well, usually during thunderstorms, it's like, oh, they they come and they go you know I'm, I wasn't too worried and then I was like I told my husband I was like the house is shaking uh, guys 2024 <laughs> this year it won't give it up here in Rogers Arkansas it's where I graduated from alumni from pretty massive hit by a tornado still waiting to find out size or they, they rated off the damage so those damage surveys are happening right now we're actually going to take you guys uh, we're going to fly the drone um, devastating i've actually drove through it the last two days uh, if you guys haven't check our facebook out i put up some lives of me pushing all the storm debris we probably took in 125 150 loads of brush at our yard and we're gonna burn it off with the fire department and that that's not even it's not even a toothpick to the pile that's gonna come out of this town this town's landscape is totally different um, I knew it was coming I watched it I watched it hit the state line and it really ramped up thank thank the good Lord that uh, the folks that are safe communities really come together on this deal and uh, I've seen a lot of folks there at the tree pile I just did that for community base. I'm not charging anybody. I'm not um, I probably drugged 40 tr flatbed trailers worth of brush, and you should have saw their you should saw their faces when they found out they didn't have to uh, hand unload that whole trailer after they've been cutting some. Probably grandma, mima, everybody was brutally tired. You could see it on their face, and didn't hurt. I didn't hurt a trailer either, channel. So that was kind of cool. And I haven't been on a backhoe for years alone a uh, hoe in general so that was most of my day yesterday this rain will not give it up we're fixing to um, pull up here into the damage I'm gonna go kind of insert myself around town figure out what's needed where Will's gonna film it all um, and we're gonna give you guys some tornado path on our own drone footage so stay tuned Look at that building. It's gone, dude. Power lines laying in the road. Wow. Wow. Here, I'll take you guys down here. Show you guys some of... I need you to scoot up there, Chevy. Wow, guys. I've seen a little bit of it yesterday. Um, I, I haven't been rubbernecking, trying to truly stay out of the, the lineman's way, because, oh, doesn't that, that's so crazy to look at, dude. It's a totally different landscape looking this way. Anyways, like I'm saying, I was trying to stay out of the lineman's way. These crews that have been working, we're nosing around. I'm trying to figure out how we help, who we help, I don't think it's individual homeowners. I'm working with the city. Look at that cleanup right there. Those guys, there's like 10 guys over there. Power lines, <laughs> oh my God. Transformer just laying on the side of the road. Absolute. Look at this. We couldn't fit underneath that power line, dude. Look at that. Oh. 
Oh my god. They barely have road on. Almost positive that was the governor flying overhead to check the pass, but uh, no, man, thank you, thank you so much. This little area right here behind me definitely got impacted the hardest. I know you guys can't see it, there's probably 25 boom trucks sticking over Walnut right here. Walnut's the main collector for Rogers, mm. And if it runs like this, the kind of tornado kind of cut through like that. And I think it just touched down ever so, it's crazy sporadic through town. But this intersection got absolutely waylaid. And uh, those linemen have been in those buckets for two days in that intersection working nonstop. They're absolute godsends. But when you see guys flagging the traffic off and he tells you to turn around, don't catch a bunch of flack with the guy. They're just trying to do their jobs. When he tells you to turn around, it's to keep those guys down there working so they can get power back in your home, okay? Uh, give them as much space as you possibly can. They're trying to get power restored. I mean, look, the building's just behind us. It's tore up, all that's tore up, all that's tore up. It's devastating to see. It's absolutely devastating to see, but I figured the governor would be making her way up here and. I'm a big fan of our governor, if you guys don't know. You saw her fly overhead to see the, the damage and what's happened in this part of the state is truly not good. Now that guy's probably having a bad day. Oh no, he's going to deliver in there. <laughs> he's just talking about turning traffic around, right? I hope you guys can somewhat see through our lens what this looks like, because this is... Um, the very disturbing within your soul when you look at it and we were so lucky we had some tree limbs driveway whatever nothing to even complain about compared to some of these folks one minute they're sleeping next thing they're they've got a, they're cuddling a white oak that's five feet around in their bedroom and you know they got babies in there from what i understand there was a few fatalities in the area praying for their families and loved ones but uh the safety of everyone else thank god what I'm trying to get at so give these guys plenty of room to work please thank you there's a house under their channel wow man. so crazy guys we're we're rocking and a rolling through town and um, I I'm absolutely speechless, and if you guys know me very well, that it takes a lot. It's a lot. There is so much debris down. Um, we're trying to make our way over here to Northwest Park. It took a direct hit. You guys watch us build that thing. If this has ever happened to you, let us know when it happened down in the comments below, guys, because uh, if this happens in your community and you're sitting on your couch waiting for power to get back, you've got it is your human duty to get up off your butt and get out there and help them fight this fight because this is um, overwhelming for a guy like myself that can see the end of the tunnel and getting all this cleaned up. But for some of these homeowners, shoot, man. There was people, Dalton, our, P, our project manager, he, he does tree work on the side and he was cutting people out of garages, homes, just falling limbs and going to the next one, going to the next one, just to get people in or out of their houses. Like you guys just saw, we had a tree fall down and then we've had trailer load after trailer load after trailer load worth of material showing up at our yard. From what I understand, the yard is a sight to see currently and we're doing everything we can. Um, it sounds, we're in talks with City of Rogers, City of Avoca, City of Benville to start on pick up, clean up, etc. And people on the outlying areas, Bentonville, yeah, Bentonville, North Bentonville got touched. I think from the tail end of that Decatur tornado, 
Decatur got smoke pulled. Um, you've got Rocky Branch Marina sits in a cove like this, and all the docks are on this side. They're all on that side of the cove. <laughs> it's a quarter mile across that cove, and all the boats, and it's just crazy to see. I, I know I keep saying that, but man, we're gonna need a lot of help here. And the community has really stepped together when I was pushing up trees yesterday at the yard, just piling trees, piling trees, piling trees, digging them off. I'd have one, two, three trailers. I'd dig them all off while they were resetting and I'd have a uh, couple new trailers back up. I was pushing the rest of it up and it was insanity, honestly. And they took me seriously and they started back at eight o'clock this morning. Um, dumping trees look buddy doesn't even have both axles that's giving it right there buddy doesn't even have both axles and he is fully sinned trying to help his community but trailers like this in front of us trailers like that have been showing up at our shop since i, st I think i threw the post up at like 10 30 by noon i had like 13 trucks there it's crazy it's the power of the community voice i don't think we realize how truly special it can be during during these times so guys be praying i know north texas you guys had a terrible tornado north of dfw i saw oklahoma got hit in a couple of different spots from this same supercell and other supercells there was one that ripped through rural kansas all at the same time and praying for you guys thank god i live in the south I've lived in Canada. I've seen communities not come together. And man, you get down here, everybody, don't don't get me wrong, everybody's judgmental and snub nose until it's time to help your neighbor truly in an event like this and to watch the Southern hospitality just glue together, everybody jump in. Example, yesterday, old man, a couple older elderly gentlemen backed into the pile and they were just, you know, barely getting a few sticks out of their trailer and out of their um, truck and I saw multiple truckloads of younger guys hop out of the truck. Hey, can we get that for you? And within a couple minutes, they were driving. It was just so, I can't describe the feeling. Gave me such uh, hope would be a good word um, for these folks. So, huh, it's crazy. Big shout out to Rusty and Wesley on the cleanup, uh, debris cleanup we've had going at the yard. And big shout out to Boca Fire Department for helping us. Man, give us a like on this video, please. We have been, we need to help on this video. We have uh, obviously not been charging like we should be charging. And the whole community debris pile up was completely free, never charged anybody a dime to dump there. I heard a, another guy made $42,000 in three days in town by taking debris for 20 bucks a load. I could have done the same thing, but I didn't. I just don't have the heart for that kind of stuff. And uh, neither does this company. And if you're gonna build yourself on integrity, um, you gotta stand behind it. And when people are in need, that's not the time. Don't get me wrong, if you offer a service, yes, absolutely, charge them. You've got fuel to pay for. You've got payroll to pay for but I understand times have been tight. This is not the time to go gigging people. Um, be fair with your pricing, guys. Take care of these people. Don't nickel and dime them. Give them a, hey, this is gonna be a 5K baseline. This is gonna be a 10K baseline and get them prepared for that. And it could grow or I might make you smile and it could be less than that. So I'm just super proud of us, honestly. All, everybody has just jumped together. We don't do trees, guys. Um, we just don't and we're not set up for it. And all these guys have jumped together 
and it has been so cool to see. Will's gonna get some good shots, get some drone shots, and uh, hook it up. So thank you guys. Hit that like, let us know in the comments. If you could support us by just hitting the like button, guys, sharing this video out also would be a major help, or leaving a comment down below, just thanking the guys. Um, they read your comments more than you guys know. They, of course, watch these videos. They take pride in quality in their work so we can give you guys something to look at. Uh, obviously, every little bit helps. Thank you guys so much.